Now working in these areas, you're presented with a lot of unique challenges. And to meet those unique challenges, you have to have unique solutions. So about three years ago, I seconded from New South Wales police, police where I was working, and I seconded to the National Institute of Forensic Science. And I went there and it was based in Melbourne, and my brief was to look at counter-terrorism. And in particular, I was looking at CBRN, which is chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. And I was looking at what were the threats, what were the trends coming out of Iraq, and then what we should do as a forensic community to meet those threats and trends. So for the first 12 months, I basically wrote a thesis and, and then went across to, to Lyon and did some work with Interpol and in France and shared my findings with the international forensic science community. Following that, my secondment was extended and I, I went on and did some work with the United Nations with the Office of Drug and Crime through Southeast Asia and we were doing capacity building around leadership and around their counter-terrorism capacity. And the whole time I was working in this space, there was one reoccurring theme that kept coming up for me, and that was hope is not a plan. We just can't hope something won't happen. But there's only so much contingency planning you can do. 